Hello, all of my Breville Creatista fans. I'm back with another video. I was in the mood to make a latte, and I've had several of you ask about the latte art functionality of the Breville Creatista Plus. I have not experimented any with the uh, microfoam um, functionality of the Creatista Plus other than knowing that I've been happy with the steamed milk quality uh, for a latte. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and experiment uh, using the machine to see what we can come up with. Um, I'm going to use two of my decaf arpeggio uh, Grand Cru this evening. Uh, I have my latte cup from uh, Sir Latab. Latab and I've got my milk pitcher. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and if you can see in there, there's two lines, the bottom line is six ounces, the top line is eight ounces. Uh, I'm gonna fill it up to about, I'm gonna do the six ounce, and eh, just over six ounce. Uh, depending on the setting of the machine, you can actually um, foam the milk up to the point where it reaches the top of the pitcher. So I don't want to do that. I don't want that much foam. Uh, I want a good mixture of foam and steamed milk so that I can actually try to do latte art. Now I haven't done latte art in probably a year, um, but I'm really just looking for the overall microphone quality to see if it's something that we would even be able to uh, work with in the future. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and brew my two Arpeggio decaf uh, espresso shots and let's see I'm just gonna do the I'm gonna use the espresso setting all right one down the hatch and I have not used uh, these are about 12 ounce cups from Sir Latab I have not actually used them yet with this machine I've been making smaller lattes um, Instead of a, about a 12 ounce latte every morning, I'm making about an uh, eight ounce latte. Um, all right, so it does fit on the shelf, which is awesome, a little closer to the spout. Um, and actually, I don't wanna do an espresso. An espresso is about 1.3 ounces. A ristretto is just under 0.9. Um, so I'm gonna do two ristretto shots. We'll hit start. And there was that very brief three second warm up period. Again, it's fast enough that to me it's virtually uh, instantaneous from the time that I hit start. All right, so one Ristretto shot smells great. And we will dispose that one, stick in our second one. I knew this was gonna happen. All right, so the waste bin is full. Should have checked. Uh, let's see. All right, sometimes they fall back there. All right, so I am going to dump those in the sink for now. I'll clean that up later. And my other is still there. Pull the tray back out and go ahead and brew. So when I was making lattes on my Breville Oracle, uh, I was always pulling two shots and they were both about an ounce each. So two ounces total, which is why I wanted to use two ristrettos, which are closer to an ounce versus two espresso shots, which are pre-programmed in at 1.3. All right. Let that finish dripping. Now let's go ahead and work on our milk. So we want to come to, and I could have used any of these, um, latte macchiato, cappuccino, cafe latte um, functions to do what I'm trying to do. Um, 
but for the sake of this, I went ahead and I'm using these separate features to see how they work. All right, so milk froth, I have not used this in a while. Um, it offers settings one through eight. So let's go ahead and do four. I hesitate just because I don't know what that's gonna be and I don't want a super foamy uh, milk and I don't want it super wet either. So I'm hoping for something right in the middle. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and hit start. Crema looks beautiful. That sound to me, for the machine, sounds like it's coming to an end. Maybe not. Alright. That was scaring me for a second. So I don't have as much foamy bubbles on top compared to when I'm making a latte macchiato. Um, so I know the setting is lower. As far as the foam goes, uh, this definitely looks wetter. All right, we'll come back and clean that later. Let it purge. So the milk actually looks pretty good. If you watched my other video, Tap and spin. Tap and swirl. Alright, this is actually really nice. It's better than uh, my video in the RV making a uh, latte in the morning. Wow, that's really good. I think I need to adjust my latte macchiato. Um, wow, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's, wow, really pretty. And that was a four setting. Alright, so I have not done anything latte art-wise in a year. I mean, that milk is absolutely beautiful. And I'm doing this one-handed. Usually I'd want to hold the uh, latte cup. Um, so anyway, let's just see. Oh my gosh. Well, I would say that I am thoroughly impressed unbelievable the milk is absolutely beautiful uh, there you go there is latte art on the breville createista plus using two arpeggio decaf uh, grand cru uh, using the ristretto and again this is in a sur la ta, about 12 ounce latte cup i am going to go enjoy my latte and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys if you have any questions want to see anything else Definitely uh, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time.